hey everybody or hey Brennan <laughs> um, so cool welcome to another live stream my name is Clifton and today I was gonna do something a little bit crazy and try out a bunch of barrel proof bourbons so might get a little crazy but I got a dump glass this time so just so I can control myself a little bit but um, yeah I just want to be fun to kind of figure out at least mainly for my own benefit which one I like the best and uh, find out which ones you guys like so um, yeah so I went ahead and poured me some just some Evan Williams just to get started um, because I haven't had anything to drink today so rather not jump right into like 120 proof um, this is just Evan Williams bottled and bond um, just an easy one to get started with um, but want to know what you guys are drinking on right now oh yeah I figured that was a good start at one. It's so, I mean, it's not nothing too crazy, nothing too exciting, but it's just a really good bourbon. So I think it's a good starter. Let me get my phone out just in case I get any messages. Cool. Oh yeah, Brendan. Um, which of these have you, well, I guess you don't know which ones I'm gonna do yet. Um, so the ones I've got today to try are Booker's. Um, this is the 2018-04 release, which is my favorite so far. Um, and this is the kitchen table. Um, sorry, my phone is going off. Sorry about that. Um, oh, what's up? Mash and Drum is here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do a bunch of barrel-proof bourbons. Uh, unfortunately, I hurt my back at work last week. Oh, no, on paid meds. Oh, that's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, that's probably not good to blend those with, um, alcohol. Um, yeah, but this is Kitchen Table, my favorite release of Booker's. Um, <laughs> Brian, what's up, Brian? Um, yes, yeah, so doing something a little bit different, um, than the gaming. I do want to do more of the gaming, I just don't want to do that every week, because I, I don't want to become just a gaming channel. Um, and, oh, hey, Steven, what's up? Yeah, that that sucks for Brandon. I hope he hope he gets better. Um, I got Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, which is the C918, which again is my favorite one so far. I'm bringing out the best of the best that I have here, currently. I have some Stag Junior. Um, this is I think batch eleven. I think it's it's the one that was available near me, and kind of like a curveball here, just because it's really the only other <laughs> cast strength I have on hand. I have Maker's Mark Private Select. Um, I, I did have basic Maker's Mark cask strength, but I drank it all. Um, so this is basically it, but like a step up. Um, and all of these are around $60. I tried to stick to the same price range. So I could, I could have pulled out like some rare breeds or some other things like that, but those are lower in price and I wanted to be completely fair. So I wanted to have every, give any, everyone an even playing field. And these are my favorites. So, um, <laughs> your mom called me. I wouldn't bet. I wouldn't doubt if my mom started contacting my whiskey friends and told them to stop hanging out with me. Yeah, so I'm curious to see out of these or out of the ones that I don't have, what is your favorite current cast strength bourbon? I'm curious to know. And but like I said, these are the ones that I think are my favorite so far. And I want to narrow it down to a favorite. So it's kind of the point of tonight. Um, just kind of warming up with some Evan Williams here. That sucks, Brandon. I actually just went to the doctor last week. I found out I have high cholesterol, which, I mean, it makes sense. My whole family has had it, but they put me on some medicine and it's made me so sickly. I just started on Saturday. Um, and it, by the way, you're allowed to drink alcohol with it. Thank God. Um, but the first day I took it, I woke up and like my entire like body was just sore. And then yesterday at work, I was so tired. Like I literally came home with my lunch break and took a nap. So luckily today I'm a little bit better. My throat's still like messed up and I looked at the side effects of this uh, medication that I'm supposed to be on hopefully not for life but probably for life um and one of the side effects is like cold like symptoms so hopefully they pass um yeah sorry there's like there's gnats that come out in here every time I have whiskey I think they're attracted to it so um it's like there's like one in here and there's one in our living room and we just can't get rid of them <laughs> um Brian says Elijah Craig Barrel Proof so far Based on my past experience, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is my favorite. So we're going to see if it stands up to these others today. Um, 
So Brandon says, I've had Booker's, Maker's, Stag Jr., and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. My favorite is still Maker's Cast Strength for sure. Okay, awesome. Have you tried any of the private selects, Brandon? Um, there are at Cast Strength. This is 55.35% alcohol, so 110 proof. Um, but it's basically um, basically like their Maker's 46 program. So they have these different staves. I don't know if you can focus on that. Okay, yeah. So each store that does a private select can pick from these staves, and you can do up to 10. And yeah, you customize it and it's, it's really cool. It actually does really affect the taste because I've tried all these staves by themselves um, and they're drastically different. So I think this is a good step up if you really like the maker's cast strength. Um, Georgie Stack easy, but like readily available, I just barrel proof. Um, wait, Georgie Stack. Oh, are you saying like George C. Stagg? Hopefully it's not, I mean, not hopefully and it's not easy. If it's easy for you to get George C. Stagg just at retail, then hit me up. Steven, so. Um, oh, no, you're supposed to, Jason was supposed to get Elijah Craig Barrel Proof today, but it didn't come in, so sorry. I know that that sucks. I, I, I've ordered something from sites before, and, like, I expect it to come sooner than it does, and it doesn't. <laughs> so, but, yeah, um, our, our store is currently out of stock of it, too, so I'm kind of making, actually, I have two backup bottles. That's pretty bad. I have this, like, almost full bottle and then two backup bottles. That's how much I love Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, so. Um, had to restart your favorite underrated bourbon, Baker's. I need to get more into Baker's. I've only bought one bottle, but I didn't love it. But that's because it's only $10 cheaper than Booker's here. So, like, I'm usually better off getting Booker's. Um, haven't tried this yet. Kind of hard with the price tag. Cheapest I've seen in your area, 75 Oh, wow, Brandon. That sucks. I can get Baker's Private Select from two different liquor stores near me for 60 Um, all these I can get for around 60 when they're available. Um, don't worry, I'm reviewing that bottle this week. I think it's underrated too, which, oh, Baker's. It may be, I mean, I just, I personally didn't love Baker's. I used it in cocktails though. I thought it was great in like an old fashioned. I love high proof whiskeys in an old fashioned. Um, private slide is the only Baker's I'll drink. My favorite is definitely Booker's. Duh. Oh, of course, Brian. <laughs> but yeah, so private slide is a really good, if you get a chance, and 75 is a little high. I don't know if I'd pay that for it. Um, but if you get a chance to try it, definitely try it because I think it's a, if, if you like Makers 46 over regular Makers, I think you'll like the Private Select. Okay, so this has now become my official dump glass. I think I'm warmed up a little bit. So let's start with the lowest proof. Let's see, what do we have here? Elijah Craig is 131 proof. We'll hold on that one. Booker's is 128 proof. Stag Jr. 127 proof makers 110 proof so we'll start it with the makers just because i don't want to come back to the makers and like can't taste it after i tried all these high proof stuff um yeah this one came this was the first private slide i ever bought and actually the only one i've bought so far um it is a little high i mean then again i've been buying all these other ones so it's not that high it's only like 60. and then this one store that just got their pick of it they're doing a sale where you have to buy two of them, but you get two for a hundred. So it's technically only 50, but that's a big investment just for one thing that I haven't had their sp particular private select. So I've been debating it, but I've, I've kind of put it off. So we'll see. We'll see if it wins this. Hey, if this wins this challenge, I'll go to that store tomorrow and buy two of their private selects. So, um, peerless bourbon. Oh yeah. Yeah. That peerless, uh, I'm, I will never see that out in California, I bet. Like, we rarely even see the rye out here. I've seen it in a couple shops, but it's always, like, 300 bucks. So, <laughs> yeah, I'd love to try it one day. But So this Makers, like I said, it's it's worlds better. Like, if your only opinion of Makers is the basic, base-level, regular Makers mark, rethink everything you know. I think Makers 46 is a good step into the world of their barrel finishing. Um, this, so this one has, this actually has... It only has two of the same staves for Makers 46. So I notice a lot of liquor stores, they tend to put a lot of focus on Makers 46. So sometimes they'll have six or seven staves for Makers 46, which basically means it's basically a cast strength Makers 46, which is awesome. I've tried cast strength Makers 46. It's incredible. Um, so revisit with single barrel news. I've been burning for four a year. That's that's great to hear. I've heard it's really good. I mean, everything they could put out, I've heard people love. So I would love to. If I see it for like retail, I'll definitely um, put my hands on, get my hands on it. What was the price? What was the price on that one, um, Jason? The Peerless Bourbon, at least for you, um, out there. I think you're in Kentucky, right? I don't know. Um, Brandon, you can get Peerless Rye for a hundred. That's not bad. Um, I may have to 
hit you up about that because I've heard really good things about it. And 100 not, I've only seen it 130 plus. So, oh yeah, I forgot, to, I'm reviewing this one. <laughs> so this is, wow, the nose on that is so much different than Maker's. It's got a lot of, so what's funny is, what's good for you guys is I went to a Maker's tasting uh, May 29th. So it was recently. Um, and what we did, look at all my notes. Like, you guys, I'm an expert, okay? We tried each of the different staves individually at cast strength. And I rated which ones were my favorites. And yeah, so I made a lot of chicken scratch notes. But so the biggest one in this Maker's Private Select was actually my least favorite of the ones I tried. So I'm curious, now that I've gone to that very detailed tasting, will I enjoy this one? Sorry, I'm trying to get that nap. Okay. Will I enjoy it, though, now that I know that's my least favorite stave? Let's find out. The nose is wonderful. It's chocolatey, dark. Mm, like fruity. It's something, it's nothing you get on regular makers. Good old makers, private select. Like I said, Brandon, if you like makers cast strength, this private select you'll love. It's so complex and I, it definitely absolutely has to do with the finishing, the wood that they use, um, the staves they put into the barrels. That is such a distinct impact on the flavor. It's not over oaky, like you may think. The different woods give each like flavor profile like a boost. So certain woods bring out certain flavors while other ones highlight other ones. This just is really is balanced and complex and just really good. I may have to hold on to this one. I'm going to save this one because it's up there. Um, it may not compete directly with the Legend Craig Barrel Proof, but I, I want to try it, put it head to head. That's what the whole point of this stream is to figure out. So my next highest proof one is going straight to the Stag Junior at 127.9 proof. Um, what do you guys think of this? Have you guys had a Stag Junior? Have you had George T. Stag? What do you think of them comparatively? Personally, I can find Stag Junior a lot more often than George T. Stag. I can also find it a lot cheaper. I got this bottle for like 60 to $70. I don't remember exactly. Oh no, actually, I got the, do you guys want to know? I got this bottle for $49.99. Um, I have a store that sells it at retail and they don't mark it up and they only had a few bottles, but I got in on one. So I don't expect to normally find this for $49.99, but I, I was very happy about that find. Um, so yeah, for $49 over, I mean, I know retail on, George T. Stagg is a lot lower, but you will never see it for less than 150 at least around me. No, I, mean, I don't even really see it for that. I see it for like 300 So, um, yeah, I, I need to look. I, I would love to try Peerless. Um, never had George T. Stagg. Wanted to try it, of course. Yes, I've tried it. I've never had a bottle of my own. I've tried it at, um, like, local meetups and stuff. So, which, Brandon, by the way, you can make it to those. Um, they don't bring... We finished off a bottle last time of George T. Sag, so may not have that next time. But there's there's a lot of good stuff there, so. Stag Jr. is yummy. I only see it in the fall. I probably got this in the fall, um, Stephen. I'm pretty sure I've had this bottle for a while. And I've I actually just recently, um, thanks to the graciousness of... Um, um, what's his name already? Uh, uh, Joseph... Mm, Joseph... The Joseph that was on its bourbon night last week. <laughs> I can't think of his last name because it's like a Braza. Joseph Braza. Duh. Anyways, he sent me um, an older Stag Jr. Um, at batch 5. So I've been holding on to this one for so long, not drinking it, because I th figured I would never get my hands on another one. Um, but, yeah. So I've been drinking this one a lot more now that I have a backup bottle. So that's the thing. Like, if there's something that I really like, I won't drink it because I'm scared I won't find it again. So that's how I've been this Makers. I've had this bottle for like maybe seven or eight months. And I just, yeah, very, I know. And I hate that I didn't remember his name because like literally his name's everywhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, he he gave me a bottle of um, Stag Jr. Um, so I'm going to be drinking a lot more often. So let's, let's see how this, oh, it's a completely different beast on the nose. This is just like dark, fruity, complex, like, not in the same way that the Makers. The Makers was dark, but it was more of like a warm milk chocolatey darkness. This one is like dark wood, um, old, like library. Um, oh, 
Oh, that is hot. Oof. Huh. It tastes a lot like... So I've had George C. Stag more recently than I've had this. Tastes so similar. So if you like this and you want something that's like slightly elevated, definitely seek out George C. Stag. Um, but it's very similar in flavor. There's a lot going on. It's like I'm getting a lot of cherry. Um, so I guess it, a lot of the maybe citrus on it, which is weird because it's so intense and so dark and there's a lot of wood surrounding everything. But um, yeah, there's some like really nice fruity notes on that. Um, let me go back to the makers real quick just to see. I may be really, oh, the maker smells so good. Oh, it's like caramel. I'm getting way more caramel on the makers than I have ever gotten because I'm comparing it directly with this one that's like dark wood and fruit. Caramel is like jumping out of this glass. I said milk chocolate earlier, but. That private select is really good. It's really balanced and it just lingers. The Stag Jr. lingers too, but not as excitedly as the makers. So let me make a final verdict on these two at least. Uh, that's a hard one. I'm not going to rule Stag Jr. out completely yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move on. I'm going to put it in my dump glass. Because I don't want to fully rule it out because I know that these other ones are a lot more similar to um, Stag Jr. So I want to see if they can beat Stag Jr. Or if they can beat Makers. If they beat Makers then they beat Stag Jr. is basically what I'm saying. I still think Makers is a step above Stag Jr. only because I like the complexity of the flavors. So let's see. I'm going to revisit some of these two, so don't take any final it, final judgments from this far into my stream. Where are we at? We're at like, what, like 15 minutes or whatever? I still got some time to figure this out, so. Um, but yeah, what are you guys drinking? Are you guys drinking any Barrel Proofs tonight to go with the theme? Or... Um, yeah, what's in your glass? I'm so excited to go to Kentucky, you guys. Like, seeing you guys talk about it, uh, I'm really hoping. My plan is to go at the end, end of October this year. Um, my, I guess my only hesitation is I have a trip planned early next year to go to Mardi Gras in New Orleans, and both of those are going to be, like, five-day trips or five night trips because you, you can't just do it all so i definitely go going to go to mardi gras i really like 90 percent sure i'm going to go to kentucky so we'll, we'll see i have the vacation time saved up thankfully so to do both it's just a matter of how busy things are and how much money i have, have in my vacation budget because i also want to go home for christmas um halfway across, or all the way across the country so Steven says, how was the Russell's Reserve pick from K&L? Russell's Reserve pick was the best Russell's I've ever had. And I say that after trying a lot of them. I really like that pick. And I, I think Joseph did too. I sent him. That's what he sent me the Stag Jr. for. Um, that was a really good Russell's pick. Um, I don't know what it was. It's Again, it's the Warehouse D. People say good things about that one. I mean, Chad and Sarah used that for their, their pick. So it's, it's got to have something going for it. Um Knob Creek Single Barrel Rye. That's great, Brian. I actually have had... I've had that, and I've had a store pick of it. Wait, no. Actually, I had a store pick of their Single Barrel Rye. And then I had a... Just one of the regular Single Barrel Ryes. Or, sorry. Just one of their regular Ryes. Basically, just the lower proof version. Oh, this, one, this Booker's is hard to close. I thought the Single Barrel store pick was really good. My only complaint about that one was side by side with the standard rye other than being higher proof it was very similar and it was like almost double the price so that's my only complaint about the particular store pick of the rye i've had now that's not to say the regular single barrel is bad but the store pick i had wasn't my favorite luckily i got it on sale for like 45 dollars, so i'm not upset but um yeah i haven't revisited the rye since then i think it kind of turned me off from it so Brian, have you turned have you turned to rye now that you've had that Booker's rye? Is that is that what's making you want to drink this? I feel like it probably is inspiring you. Um, how does it compare since you've just recently had that, by the way? So this is Booker's, by the way. Oh yeah. 
my favorite thing about Booker's is how oaky it is. I know some people don't love that oaky flavor or note. For me, that's one of my favorite things about bourbon. And I get it a lot on older stuff, like the Knob Creek store picks that are 14-year-old. They're bourbon. One of my favorite whiskeys. Probably my favorite readily available whiskey. Um, and Booker's just takes that and makes it so... It just... it's Basically, Knob Creek, the 14-year store picks are great. And I love their oakiness. But Booker's takes all the great things and adds more depth and it expands the flavor profile. So you don't just get overwhelming oak. You get lots of oak, but you also get a lot more complexity with the deep, dark fruit. So that's what I love about Booker's. I'm slowly coming to it. If you guys watched a few videos back or maybe a couple of live streams back, I said I didn't like Booker's. But after getting this um, kitchen table, I've been coming around to it. So I think I'll be picking up a few more bottles in my future. Um, have I had the cask strength rye? I have not. And the only reason I haven't is because the single barrel store pick rye was um, 115 proof. And the cast strength rye is only like, what, like 125, I think? So I didn't see a reason to get that. But is it that much different, Stephen? Have you had it? I'm curious to hear because I've avoided picking up only because like I pretty much had a cast strength one. Um, Brian says, only way you can get the single barrel is through a store pick. Oh, okay. I didn't realize if they did just like regular single barrel releases of it. Hey, Malton in Montreal, what's up? Thank you for stopping by. Um... That reminds me, I, I need to do an episode on uh, Can Canadian whiskeys because I've had a few that are good, but I, there are a lot that I want to try um, that I've seen recommended, like Lot 40. I've heard some good things about that one. So maybe eventually I'll get to that. Um, right now, I don't have any Canadian in my collection, but um, I, I do want to revisit Canadian. So uh, first time watcher. Well, welcome. I hope you um, enjoy this. We're doing some cast strength bourbon whiskey today, um, but I, I try to change it up, do a few different things. So if you like the stream definitely um, come back and subscribe and check out my channel. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I'm glad to have you. So so awesome to see new faces here. Um, okay, Brian says, no comparison. The Booker's Rye is an experience. Never had anything like it. Absolutely agree. It's an experience and one that I won't forget. Like, <laughs> I, like one guy was making fun of me because he saw me talking about it on the stream. One guy that was actually there when I tried it the first time. And he was like even agreeing. He's like, yeah, because that's all you could talk about all night. I know that's all I could talk about all night. <laughs> Booker's Rye was just incredible. So I, I get that. Um, whiskey. Oh, wait. Uh, uh, you're the person I was just talking about. You're here. Hey. <laughs> hey, Juan. I just mentioned you. I was like saying like, oh, one guy called me out for enjoying the Booker's Rye. That was you. <laughs> um, so you tried the Kathleen's Batch. Not a fan. Tasted hot. Then again, it was a fresh bottle. That's the th good thing about... Um, bookers it does open up a lot um so kathleen's batch i thought was really good i didn't like the one that came after that but kitchen table better than both of them so um i know k l still has this i think they may have recently sold out of it they just got shiny barrel batch by the way um i think this is still around southern california so if you see it um, give it a try, or I can bring it to the next meetup. You can try it there. So, um, but yeah, I've opened up to Booker's a lot. So, let's see. I, I haven't drank it yet, have I? <laughs> so Stephen likes the Knob Creek Cast Strength better than the standard rye. Good to know, because I thought my single barrel store pick rye was very similar to the. Um, the regular rye so that's good to know I i'll definitely give it a try though uh, booker's is all right you much prefer stag junior elijah craig barrel proof like i said i think elijah craig barrel proof has been my favorite to this point so that's the point of tonight we're going to try to figure it out so oh this booker's is really good though but having just had that stag wow my opinion is quickly changing so, after tasting it, I think, mm, I hate to say it, I think the Booker's is a big step down from the Stag Jr. Um, the Booker's is good. I'm not saying it's a bad whiskey, but it tastes a lot like Knob Creek single barrel. 
Knob Creek Single Barrel, the non-store picks are 40 bucks. Store picks are 50 bucks, and some of them are 14 years old. That makes me sad. I'm pra I was just praising the bookers, but having trying it side by side, which is the whole point of tonight. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm happy of this discovery. It just doesn't compare to that stag. That stag junior is so, it's so good. You're checking out the new channels. Thank you. Yeah, I'm relatively new to all this. I'm not in with all the cool people like uh, Jason is and, and that crew, but I'm trying. So um, trying to get in with the cool peeps. I know Joseph gave me a shout out on his Suburban Nights live stream. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, for me, it was like, oh, I'm famous for like half a second. He was talking about on um, my last live stream. He gave me a super chat to not chug something. And of course I chugged it anyways, because like that was the whole point of super chats that night. Um, which by the way, I just recently figured out that I could have enabled Super Chats this whole time and I didn't even know it. So yeah, not that I ever expect anything like that. I just, like, I never, I've been weird about money like that. Like, I would never set up a Patreon, at least right now, just because I don't think I have enough content out there. I don't feel like I'm doing enough to earn that. Um, eventually I'd like to, but I feel like I need to offer a bit more first. So we'll see. I think I'm getting slowly into the swing of things. So we'll see what happens. I'm still trying to get up to that 2,000 subscriber mark. I'm like 70 70 people away from 2000 so we'll see maybe after i hit that I'll, I'll rethink that but um um you need to do a 2016 booker's batch that me and perry both love oh which one is that steven um i actually just had a friend pick up um a booker's 201701 tommy's batch i think it, it was tommy's batch i don't know if it's 201701 or 02 um which is one of the ho most highly regarded ones so i'm so excited to try that one he got it for like 50 bucks so, or maybe it was 60. I don't know. Either way, he just recently got it. Um, you've been doing it for four years. I feel you. I've been on YouTube since 2007, if that tells you anything. Not doing whiskey reviews. I've I've changed channels. I'm not on my main channel, and I dropped out for like three or four years. So this is like my second channel. Um, trying to make a little comeback with a little like vlog. I started doing like vlogs and travel vlogs and things like that. Now I'm doing whiskey because it's like a big passion of mine. Um, and... Yeah, so I totally feel that. Um, but the whiskey folk, you guys out there are like some of the coolest people that I've known on YouTube. You guys, I've said this before, but you guys remind me a lot of what the community on YouTube used to be like back in 2007, 2008, 2009. You guys are just so cool. And you guys are what keep me making these videos because for a long time, I didn't have that community. I didn't, I had people that would come back and watch and I had like fans, if you want to call them that, but it wasn't a community. And I think whiskey and bourbon has just brought people together in a way that I haven't seen since early, early days of YouTube. Off your rocker. That's right, Steven. Um, so Brandon says 2017-02. Okay, so that's what the Tommy's batch is. Um, so Brian says, got to blind them. Have your house set up each one in a room. Chad and Sarah swear that blind is the only way to go. Totally. I, I would totally, before I make any final, final judgments, I would definitely like to blind them. Um, but I'm pretty sure I would know which one's the bookers. I mean, come on. It's the, mo <laughs> it's the most wood, heavy wood forward, which again, I'm a big fan of. I love that in Knob Creek. And the only reason I'm dismissing bookers, Brian, I'm not saying I hate it, is because I've had Knob Creeks that I think are just as good as this and they're significantly cheaper. That's the only reason I'm dismissing it. I'm not saying it's like, like a bad cast strength. I'm just saying for the price, I'm happy getting Knob Creek, um, single barrel, so... So, Brandon, you picked up what bottle because of Perry? Um, you have stalkers like Jason. Um, what bottle? Wait, hold on. I missed something. The Off Your Rocker? Um, so, I had a pour of an old Booker's at a bar. And I know it was one that I heard It's Bourbonite recommend. Because I had looked it up right before. I'm like, I'm going to get that one. And the thing is, I don't remember which one it was. I don't think it was off your rocker. It was a 2016 one for sure. Do any of you know what the bookers that it's bourbon I always talks about? Like one of the early ones? Because I remember hearing them say that. Was it off your rocker? Maybe. Maybe it was off your... Maybe I did have... No, I don't think I ordered that one. Something porch. Maybe. I don't know. 
That Booker's was really freaking good. Wait, wait, sip a while, Steven. Totally, that was it. That was it. Yes. And that was a wonderful pour. I paid $17 for that pour. Didn't regret it at all. I had a great time that night. And I was so happy to finally find an older Booker's that I loved. So, And again, it had opened up a, a ton. So, Brian, you're right. I'm not going to um, dis disown Booker's yet. I have a whole bottle to go through. And I have another bottle in there. So, But right now, I think... Um, for tonight, tonight's, oh, Brennan, front porch batch. Oh, wait, you guys got me second guessing. I think that's the confusion I had. Malton in Montreal, thank you so much for subscribing. Um, awesome, that means a lot. Um, oh, my bourbon journey's here. Hey, what's up? Thanks for the help the other day on adding the hashtags to a stream. I saw that you did that on your, on your video. I was like, wait, how did he do that? Um, so, yeah. So, wait, no, what I was saying was, so... I think my confusion is, was it Off Your Rocker or Front Porch Batch? It's been like six months since I had it. It's one of those two. Either way, it was incredible. I think it may have been Sip A While. I think it was Sip A While. I don't think it was Off Your Rocker. Or sorry, Front Porch Batch. But maybe it was. I don't know. I liked it. But okay, time to move on to the last, last one of tonight. And then I'll revisit a couple. What are you doing here? Well, I, like I said, the whiskey community on YouTube is awesome. So I think we can all come together and I see a lot of familiar faces. I just like randomly go on people's streams or videos and I see comments from people that I like, I know from here, I know from Perry, I know from It's a Bourbon Night. Um, Swami. Okay. Am I saying that right? Swami, 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 right? Um, all right, Brian. See you, so see you later. Thank you so much. Again, I'm not giving up on bookers. Don't unsubscribe, please. Um, Sip a while is the one that it's bourbon I always talks about. I think that it was, sorry, just going back up. Make sure I didn't miss something. Sip a while. Yeah, I, I think it was sip a while. I don't know though. So anyways, I'm going to get Tommy's batch and, and compare it that. So, so guys, really, I'm glad my air just came on cause I'm like sweating. <laughs> Probably because all the high proof whiskey. Um, yeah, so let's move on to what I believe is my favorite. We're going to find out tonight if this is my favorite. This is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof C918, which so far has been my favorite batch so far of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. So let's see how it compares. Sorry, I swear that gnat just like went in front of my face and went up my nose. So I just spilled that whiskey because I freaked out for a second. Cheers, Brandon. Is Brandon leaving? Wait, where did Brandon go? Oh, no. You said cheers. I was like, oh, no. Um, yeah, Brandon, Brandon's always here. He's always here before I start, too. So, again, that's probably the West Coast time. Um, he is, like, the only person I know that's over here. I mean, I guess Joseph is, too, because um, Washington or Seattle, wherever he is. Oh, Super Chat, Steven. Thank you so much. Like, you guys don't have to do that. That's, that, that's awesome. Thank you, Steven. I don't have any kind of thing to do. I guess I can cheers to you. Um, I'm just so used to it's bourbon. I did like, oh, super chat. Let me pull out my fancy cowbell. Um, cheers to you, Steven. Thank you so much. Luckily, I'm, I don't have my bad whiskey to chug tonight. Um, <laughs> so this is a more of a celebra celebratory cheers. So thank you so much for the super chat. It really does mean a lot. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're only Elijah Craig Barrel Proof now. So this is a good one to cheers you with, Steven. So. The nose on that, it takes the things that I really liked about this Makers. Oh, God. Coming back to this Makers after, what was it, like 30 minutes? This Makers is so good on the nose. Wow, that is so good. Ah, I really like the nose on that Makers. They let you out on work release for the live stream. Wait, what? Maybe I've seen you before, Malta Montreal. I don't recognize the username, but I've watched a lot of these like collab live streams that like uh, Mash and Drum has done. So maybe you were on there. I just didn't recognize your name. So um, if so, hey, what's up again? I've probably said hey to you before. <laughs> um, Booker's is for noobs that wear power gloves. Elijah Craig Railroad is for pros. Um, yeah. I mean, no, no, I'm not saying yeah, I don't agree. But let, let's find out though. Let's find out. I've never been disappointed with Elijah Craig Railroad. I'll just tell you that right now. I 
I really didn't want the winner to be this clear cut. I really wanted this to be a competition. This isn't a competition. It, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, wait, I got to the finish. I got to the finish. Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> Book is where you said Donkey Kong bongas. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm not. I was about to have an initial reaction, and I freaked out. But then as I sat on it, hold on. Hmm. Oh. So. Elagic Egg Barrel Proof. That's what I have in my glass right now. On the nose, it's just as good as the Maker's Private Select. When you first taste it, beats everything. Absolutely beats everything, flavor-wise, um, complexity. Blows everything away. But... The more as it goes on, I get a weird floral note that's not my favorite. It's like the finish on it. Oh, no, no, don't tell me my, my all-time favorite is, like, failing me tonight. Sorry, excuse me. By the way... If anyone wants to collaborate, I would love to do a stream on my channel or your channel or whatever. I'd love to come on or have you on. I have thought about doing that in the past. I just wasn't really set up for it, but like I found out ways to do it now. So if anyone wants to be on my live stream in the future, let me know. I will gladly have you on. I, li I like to feature other channels too, although most of you guys are bigger than mine. So you probably wouldn't want to come on anyways, but <laughs> um, that's something I used to do on my old channel. I used to promote a lot of really small channels and kind of help build them up. So be the opposite here so we'll see but um wow hmm okay let me try the makers again i'm gonna lo keep track of what i have wow Ooh. this is where it gets hard okay since more of you people are here what is your favorite barrel proof whiskey that you've had now, I'll say that if you've that you've had, but let me know if you've had multiples of these. If you've had Maker's Private Select, Stag Junior, Booker's, and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, or I mean, because if you've only had one, you say that's your favorite. That's not really a fair comparison. So, but I mean, it's it's totally cool. Like I'm totally down if you say that's your favorite. But if you've only had one, um, let me know, just because it helps me know. But if you had all of these or you've had others. What's your favorite barrel proof? Um, I don't want you on. Why not? I am down with multiple people. Perry added me to his last Instagram hangout um, unexpectedly. So I had to like run in here and like get set up to do it. But um, yeah, so. Wait. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I live at a pretty busy intersection, so people are always honking. Wait, I just want to make sure I didn't miss myself. Hold on, wait. Jack Daniels Barrel Proof. Um, I had one of those at a tasting recently. That stuff is good stuff. I wasn't expecting it. I've had all their single barrel stuff, but someone gave me more support of their barrel proof stuff. It's completely different. That stuff is really good. Um, you change your mind well, William Hoover Waller. I mean, I'm talking about in the $6 price range, Steven. Like... Wait, I'm confused now. Hold on. Do you guys like how I just said that I'm keeping track of this? This Maker's Private Select smells a lot like this Elijah Craig. Mm. That was the Maker's. It's much lower proof. Ah, oh, God. So, I'll say this. So far, no final judgment. Almost on my final judgment. Maker's, the whole experience is a much more enjoyable experience. It's lower proof. It's easier to wrap your mind around the different flavors. But 
This is hard, you guys. This is way harder than I thought. The one I'm ruling out right now for sure is Booker's. I'm ruling that out, not because it's the worst, but like I said, I can get Knob Creek Single Barrel for much cheaper than this, and it's a similar flavor profile. So, Booker's is off the table for now. Maker's is its own category. It's its own beast. So, whatever beats the other one, it'll go head-to-head -head to Maker's. But, I want to try Stag Jr. again. I'm going to I'm gonna give this one final shot. Um, get one last taste of the Light Cherry Barrel Brews. The Booker's rye we had was by far the best rye and likely the best whiskey you've had. Absolutely. It really was. And, like, I'm not saying that because, like, I was drunk at the time. I made sure, when I saw that bottle was there, I made sure that I didn't get too drunk so I couldn't taste that one. And when I tried it, it was everything I wanted it to be. I had heard so much hype over Booker's rye. And then when I actually got to try it, it was just, it was just awesome, so... So this is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It's an incredible whiskey. I'm not dismissing it. Um, you're right. Makers is a weeded bourbon, so it's going to be softer. But, again, head to head, it's good. <laughs> do a combo of all of them, Steven. One thought ahead of you, brother. That's what this dump bottle is for. So. So, I'm going to pour the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof into that. Rinse out my glass. You saw me eye it. It sees your expectations by far. Absolutely. Well, I did because that was the legendary whiskey I had heard about for, I would say, years. But I haven't been following your, your whiskey that long. For over a year, everyone talked about Booker's Rye, how incredible it was. And it's freaking magnificent. Brian just left. Um, um, so are, I know Chef WRX. Are you... I'm trying to think of who you are. I know who you are. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Aaron. You're Aaron, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Either way. Uh, we are back going to get a beer. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, you're Aaron. You just you just submitted it to me. No, no, this, is, this isn't the one that you gave me. I actually just recently finished that bottle. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say your name. Sorry. My bad. Uh, I'm not going to say your last name. Like, I'm not like, I'm not like that. Um, no, this is the C918. Okay, cool. This is the C918. This isn't the one that you gave me. That one lasted a while because it was the only one that I had. This one, it's similar, but I think this one is my favorite. Again, I drank your whole bottle, so thank you for that. Um, but I really like this one, so. k &L had this one for a while, so. Um, but... Yeah, so you just missed Brian. He just had Booker's Rye for the first time on Father's Day. He had a bottle that he was saving for Father's Day. Um, he opened it up, and he loved it. It was such an amazing experience for him. So I was telling him earlier, I was saying, like, yeah, it was an experience for me, too. So, um, yeah, that, that stuff is just special stuff. So I'm going to go back to the Stag Jr. And we're going to compare it directly, because so far, Stag Jr. and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof are my favorites so far. Again, Makers is the outlier. It might come back and bite me and that'd be my favorite, so let's find out. All right, back to the Stag Junior. Oh yeah. Whew, this is a tough one, guys. Steven says, he tried the C918 sample, which is what um, I just had. You sent me for B517 still tops it. I've never had that one, so you're probably right. But the C the C918 though is the best one I've had recently. So wow. Oh, this is tough, you guys. First of all, I've never thought that Stag Junior drank easily. <laughs> But this, this sip of Stag Junior is like the easiest sipping Stag I've ever had in my life. And it's because I'm coming from these higher proof ones. So I give it that. But oh, wow. Oh, this is tough, you guys. I 
I think I have a conclusion. Do you guys want to hear it? Let me take one last sip of the Makers. I think I know which one's my favorite. So, up until this point, I have sworn by the fact that Elijah Craig Barrel Proof was my favorite cast strength bourbon. Um, I've always swore by that. Like it, from the first moment I tried it, I thought it was the best thing I've ever had in my life. But side by side with all these other great, they're all great bourbons. I think my favorite cast strength whiskey for under, I'll say under 70, just in case some of these are more pricey. Under 70 in my area has to go to Stag Jr. This, it has, it hits all the right checks in my book. It has the wonderful woody oakiness from the bookers. It has the complexity of the makers. And it has just the depth of flavor and fruitiness and everything that Elijah Craig has. You're right, Brandon. The Stag Jr. Got to be hands down the best whiskey I own. I'm being perfectly honest. If I can get my hands on another bottle, I will be picking that one up. Um, luckily, like I said, Joseph sent me another bottle of it, so I have one more. Haven't opened it yet, but yeah, that that's that's really good. Now, as Brian said, I do need to revisit them blind. So if I do a blind tasting again, I'll be doing Stag Jr., Elijah Craig, and Booker's. Those three. But just tasting them, I mean, I'm pretty... Not that I'm saying that, like, oh, if I did it blind, I would be obviously know which one is which. Because I know that blind, it changes. Um, if you do it blind, make sure to let us know. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. Um, I know I know what will change with doing it blind, um, for sure. No, no, I don't know that it will change. I just know that doing it blind opens a lot of people's eyes to things, so... This, so the reason I feel like I'm more confident in my decision right now is because I think something beat my favorite. And if I picked my favorite at the end of the night, I would have felt like, oh, I'm just biased. I didn't pick my favorite. I picked my third favorite but going into tonight. Basically, my order before tonight was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, Booker's, Stag Jr., Makers. Stag Jr., side by side, this stuff is really good. Now, again, Makers Private Select, I hate to categorize this with these yes it's cast strength but this one's different i don't feel like i would always prefer stag jr over this one because this one is so much softer like you said steven um oh no, no this one actually is batch 11 this is a newer one um i do have a batch 5 which i haven't tried yet um joseph sent me that one so i think i'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison sometime between this one and the batch 5 um but i haven't opened that one yet but maybe coming soon now that i like this so much so yeah, so I'm going with Stag Jr., and I'm going to stand by that. Um, all these are incredible, but the Stag Jr. blows them away. So, Steven, what you mentioned earlier, by the way, trying them all together. Got a glass right here. Ooh, that smells so good. Oh, you know what's weird? You know what's really funny? Sorry, there's a freaking nap. You know what's really funny? This blend, it smells like this one. But you know what's funny? Sorry, I keep saying you know what's funny. This isn't even in the blend. I drink all of that. So all these combined smells like Makers 46, which is, or Makers Private Select, which is crazy. Because again, that's what I was saying earlier. Makers Private Select is like, it takes all the flavors I love about bourbon and like tones, tones them down. I would say it tones them down, but it makes them like, makes them like god this is what happens when you drink a bunch of cast strength whiskeys it makes them stand out but not like on their own just like 
as an exceptional whiskey, if that makes sense. So save the batch five for when I when we meet in Kentucky. Yes, Stephen, by the way, are you going to the um, potential supposed rumored It's Bourbon Night meetup in October 20, somewhere between October 24th and 27th? Because if you are, I will likely be there. So let me know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if I can bring it. Wait, can I bring it? I could. If I, mm. So if I don't open it, I can bring it. But if I open it, I might not can bring it. Okay, anyways, this is the mix. We're going to try it right now to end off this stream. By the way, I had a lot of fun with you guys. So if you enjoyed this and you're not subscribed, I love you could just hit the subscribe button. Like I said, I'm trying to get to 2,000. So even if you like watch me regularly and you, you know to tune in, tune in anyways and you're not subscribed, I'd appreciate a subscription just because it helps my numbers a little bit. So, um, but yeah, or if you're new here and um, which I don't know if um, Montreal, what was your name, Swami? Swami, if you're still here, um, you wait, you said you subscribed, so never mind. So um yeah so most of you guys are around from around but if you're watching the replay and you haven't subscribed to me before i'd appreciate a subscription <laughs> it's so hard to talk okay normally i'm okay on these live streams but when we're doing forecast strength of whiskeys it's it's a little tough so okay here's the combination of them all four combined with the light with evan williams Wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I expected. When you have four incredible whiskeys, all these are incredible. I would not say anything negative about any of these, except when I'm comparing them side by side. And you mix them together. I mean, what would you expect? Would you expect these this to be bad, this mix? Because I wouldn't. I would expect it to be maybe ordinary. But this... I'm not going to say this because you guys will judge me. I'm going to say it anyways. You're right. I'm buzzing. No, I'm not going to say it. You guys are going to hate me if I say this. Am I going to say it? Okay, I'll say it. But that's only for people that have made it into this stream for like 50 minutes. <laughs> I'll say it. I think this blend of the two. Sorry. This blend of the four or five. Because there's some Evan Williams bottle and bonnet here. I think this is the best thing I've had all night. I know that sounds crazy. I know. I know it sounds crazy. But nobody cares. You're right, Steven. No one even cares. No one's even here right now. Um, so I think this is the best thing I've had all night. Only because I think... Each of these has their own thing that I think is going for it. Booker's is with the oakiness. Elijah Craig is with the complexity. Stag is with the... I don't even know anymore. You guys heard it earlier. Maker's is with the like the fruitiness. This blend... If you guys have all these bottles, just put just half an ounce of each of these into it. Okay, now, even if you don't have these bottles, take half an ounce of your favorite whiskeys... The ones that you're a favorite and that, like they're similar. Like don't put like a scotch in there or some shit like that. Take half an ounce of your favorite whiskeys, put them together, see what you think of it. Because you'll be surprised. You may really like the outcome, like I do. Mad science always works. Agreed, Steven. <laughs> um, Brandon says, like Perry said, you should start messing around with blends. Yeah, I, I have an infinity bottle, but it hasn't. I haven't put a lot of like higher higher end stuff in it. I usually put like mostly lower end stuff and then like occasionally I'll like finish off a bottle of my higher end stuff in it. But I am curious. Um this has got me excited, Brandon. I'm gonna start doing some more blends with these like higher end barrel proof stuff. So we'll see. Um I don't know if you guys you guys mostly probably don't follow me on Instagram, but if you do, on Instagram my name is Clifton M C D N L. So this is my last name but without any vowels. I've been doing uh um I have like a little mini barrel and I put in some whiskey in it to do some finishing tests. So I put some wine in it and I like left it in there for a couple weeks and I'm now now finishing some wild turkey one oh one with the wine. So we'll see how that goes. But um 
Yeah, so, yeah, definitely experiment. Absolutely. Um, you, you may discover that you like a combination of one or two things, so go for it. I mean, no one's going to judge you. If they do, then they're assholes. Um, Steven says, I've mixed some interesting stuff before, including a Knob Creek 25th anniversary and a Japanese whiskey, making my own Legion. Damn, that sounds good. I mean, like, I say that because I like Legion. I thought Legion was really good for what it is and for the price point. Legion is a really good whiskey, and I, I, I'm glad to have a bottle. I may pick up another bottle because it's only $35. Legion is like, I like Legion like I like Blackened. They're both, the finishing really elevates the whiskey that went to it first. So, um, yeah, that sounds awesome, Stephen. Save me some of that <laughs> for the meetup because um, I'd love to try that. That sounds really good. I love Knob Creek 25th, and I love Japanese whiskey, so... Anyways, I think that about does it for me tonight. Um, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, most of you guys have been here most of the time. Brandon and Steven and uh, everyone else. And f for the fresh faces, uh, fresh faces, that sounds weird. Like I'm a serial killer. I'm not a serial killer. For the new faces, thank you for stopping in and checking out the stream. Um, I always have fun hanging with you guys. You guys are like one of the highlights of my week. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. I have a video coming out on Friday. I will be comparing Weller 12 year with Weller, Weller Special Reserve. Um, I didn't have Weller 107 on hand, but I've tried it before. So it's kind of mentioned occasionally. So yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing night, especially you guys on the East Coast where it's way past your bedtime, <laughs> um, especially for a Tuesday night. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Um, have a great night and drink good bourbon. See ya.